So the other day on Twitter, I got a DM from a creator that I've looked up to for a long time, Mr. GG. And all that the DM said was, hey, a uh, question. And when someone that you've looked up to for a while asks to ask a question out of the blue, it's normally either really good or really bad. And I still can't tell which one this one was. Also, if you're interested in this little guy, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. But until then, he is gonna set right there so mr gg asked if i'd received an email from a thomas cinemagore for those that don't know or those of you that may have forgot thomas cinemagore is the director of the md pope series which on the disturbing movie iceberg was all the way at the bottom tier as just being a compilation of people dying thomas cinemagore the director of these three movies is very open with talking to his audience as a matter of fact the way that you would originally get a hold of the md pope movies was you would email him and he'd send a copy directly to your house so getting an email from him isn't that out of the blue right but the content of it was something else as a matter of fact let's go ahead and read that email together hello i am the most disturbed person on planet earth <laughs> we're off to a great start or as you normies refer to me <laughs> the md pope i saw you mention my films in your youtube video about the film that plagiarized my masterpiece snuff r73 i have made md pope 4 but was not satisfied with it but I have something far more disturbing in store for you. A film that is so utterly repulsive that even I, being the most <laughs> disturbed person on planet Earth, have to look away. MD Pope 5. It slowly gets more disturbing because the clips in the beginning are supposed to throw you off, but it will offend even the most thick-skinned of people. I shall give you a Google Drive link. Shall, he said shall. In three days, I will post MD Pope 5 on Reddit. I will only leave my holy grail up for three days unless you watch my entire masterpiece and review it on your YouTube channel. Here is your link to my holy grail, MD Pope 5. In the email, there is a cover of my film attached. Use that for your YouTube content. Farewell, the most disturbed person on planet Earth. And this is the image. <laughs> that covers the film <laughs> all right so if you know anything about md pope or how like actually disturbing those films are I'm, I'm quite literally saying people dying on camera then this is very out of character this is like what someone who thinks they know what disturbing movies are would say a disturbing person would say you know it's like they think this is dracula talking like sh i shall give you the google drive i'm not dumb enough to just open links to random websites and downloads but i checked the email on my phone and i could see that this was in fact a google drive which means that it can't have a virus or anything attached which i don't know that for a fact that's just how i think computers work because i'm an idiot if i was putting myself at risk looking at this uh whoops but i'm like yeah google drive it's safe enough so mr gg emailed me since i did the disturbing movie iceberg so he assumed that i also received it which he was right so kind of like holding each other's hand we clicked on it together because on the slight off chance that it is real um oh no however all it took was one frame skimmed to the middle for me to realize what this really was. So I thought, rather than describing it to you this whole time, why don't we just watch it together? But before we do that, a word from our sponsor. Hey son, sorry to bother you there. I was just thinking that since you're growing up and since you're becoming a man now, it was time that we had a bit of a conversation. You're growing up, you're maturing, and it's time that we talked about something that's going to be very important to you in the next few years. And that's a good wallet. And what better wallet could I suggest than the Ridge Wallet? See, everyone's got to adapt with the times. And gone are the days of having a wallet full of 500 different cards that you never use and never sets in your pockets comfortably. Which is why Ridge is the do-it-all wallet in the smallest possible device you can get. To give you an idea, I put in this wallet every single card that I use on a daily basis, and as you can see, it is still way thinner than my old wallet with nothing in it. 
The Ridge Wallet allows you to fit 12 cards inside of its very small frame comfortably. Not only that, but everyone needs to have some cash on them as well, and Ridge Wallet has got you covered with this handy little money clip. So rather than having a massive bulky wallet that gets in your way all the time, you can carry it all in something that's smaller than your phone. Not only that, but the wallet has such durable construction that Ridge has a lifetime warranty on all their products. The construction also makes it RFID proof. In other words, people can't use the electronic devices to steal your card's information. And to top it all off, it comes in over 30 different models and colors, meaning it's secure, it's durable, it's slim, and it's cool. So in order to get you all set up, I have teamed up with Ridge to offer you guys 10% off with discount code Windigoon. And to make the deal even sweeter, you can use the wallet for up to 45 days and then send it back for a full refund. Because Ridge has such confidence in their products, and they should. Because they know after you get your hands on this thing, you're not going to want to get rid of it. So once again, discount code Windigoon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much to Ridge for sponsoring this video, and thank you all for watching. So here we are, ready to begin. As you can see from what this first shot is, <laughs> I I can already tell this is going to be special. And it's four hours, so here we go. <laughs> okay. I am the most disturbed person on planet Earth. The footage you are about to see is an electronic <laughs> documentation of the world's darkest obscene voice modulator on over a clip of the Joker. <laughs> what is this channel? If you would have told me like a year ago that my decisions in life would lead me to where I'm at now, I honestly wouldn't have done anything different. This is <laughs> the body's oh, uh, uh, copyright, copyright music, copyrighted music. La, 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 la. We're going to turn that down. We don't, we don't want a copyright strike on top of the strike this one's probably already going to get. Okay. If I talk like as it's going, there won't be an issue. So I'll just like, because I want to say. <laughs> this is so good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Keep your cool. Okay, so I'm going to put this volume down. I'll start adding background music at this point uh, to not make it so terrible because uh, we'll check in a bit to see if the music's still there. I am I am excited for this now. Um, this is more than I ever expected it to be. This is so much better than the actual Envy Pope 5. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 they're acting like this is snuff. There's just the guy falling. The, the, the caption says that this is someone finding cheese pizza, which it's not. It's just your neighbors yelling at each other. Is this going to be the whole video? The whole, like, 10-minute thing? Um, yeah, probably. Serious, this is the worst okay, piano you've volume. ever heard. All 80, 88 keys out of tune. Check it out. Here in Roscommon, Michigan. This is just an out of tune piece. Chromatic so this is not the murder death, what caused him to grow at a fast rate but this sadly all of these YouTube videos video. are this now removed <laughs> the format of his CSGO. worst intro series is going to have lots of data in it whoa <laughs> where did that come from hold on we we missed some plot development all right we're, we're not doing the whole four hours i'm not i'm also not going to sit here and just watch someone's youtube video i came here because thomas said to come here Thomas, why'd you lie to me? And, oh boy. So this is an image that I have paused on that I'm going to hit play really quick. Uh, you all aren't seeing it, obviously, because of what it is. And it is, in fact, one of Chris Chan's um, private videos, would be the word for it. If you don't know who Chris Chan is, I'm sorry uh, that you'll probably find out eventually. He's essentially like the most trolled man in the history of the internet. And during one of the trolling um, arcs of his lifespan, people pretended to be like women to get him to take pictures and videos in provocative manners and do really gross stuff. And this is one of those in which, um, to be frank, he gets naked and sits on a cake. So maybe there's this is obviously way more disturbing than, you know, what we started with, like the Joker clip and all that. 
So maybe in the beginning, where it says it progressively gets worse, it was right. And maybe by the end of this, it will be MD Pope 5. I'm hopeful that, that I'm not hopeful. I'm hopeful that I'm going to be horrified. This, what is this one? Dio, yeah. um, if this you don't know who Elliot Roger is, he was... About Elliot Roger. Okay, we're skipping forward. All right, so we're back to not disturb... I imagine he's saying disturbing stuff, but this is not compared to a naked Christian. <laughs> Just that image! This guy chokes himself to death. <laughs> he doesn't die. I've seen, it's, this video is a meme. I've seen it before. He doesn't die. So th this is, from what my understanding looks like, these are just like funny videos or clips with like fake captions put over them to make them sound like a snuff film, um, which is pretty good. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so you're not seeing this right now. Uh, this is fake. This is from... It's either Woman's Flesh, My Red Guts, or what was the other? Uh, guinea Pig, one of the Guinea Pig movies. I can't remember which one. Uh, one of the ones that's just like a long movie about torture. It's it's a movie, though. It's totally fake. So this does not count as something that M.D. Pope would be. Um, I'm losing hope because we're 40 minutes in and there hasn't been any actual M.D. Pope related stuff. Or I guess I should say gaining hope, considering... Um, but yeah, the, the current thing on screen that you're not seeing because a lot of blood is fake. It's from a movie that I talked about on the iceberg. Not positive which one, but I've, I've seen this before. Oh, look, monkey. All right, so you're also not seeing what's on screen right now. Uh, but it is a man with an inflatable doll. Uh, although I think this is kind of like a YouTube skit. I'm not going to hit play. Because uh, I hit play for a second and there was copyrighted music for one. And also because you guys aren't going to see it anyway because he's naked. Um, so, again, not MD Pope, but closer. And then immediately after that is Chris Chan again. Um, which, to be fair, is the most disturbing thing I've come across in this shit. And then... We have Nikocado Avocado's kit tape. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is right there with Christian as being one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, looking at it right now makes me want to throw up. That's a, that's a really weird mukbang you got going on there, Nick. Okay. This is not Snuff R73. This ah! is... <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate on my hands. Genie. Ah! Both for copyright and both because it's not what we're here for. So, is this thing still. This is still going on. This is an entire, like, I think. I'm not seeing any adult content. I'm pretty sure, though, this looks like um, a low budget film. Still not seeing any nudity. Well, that's nudity of some kind. Oh boy. The Spin Broom. Commercial and I try and convince you not- It's Penguin's narration of the Spin Broom commercial. Okay. What the heck? Huh? Ah, hey! Oh! <laughs> 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 Just, just take what you think might happen, um, given the context of everything else that we've seen in this compilation, and that's what did happen. Oh, this is, uh, this is a Serbian film, or parts of it, which is another movie I mentioned on the iceberg, I think it was in tier three, maybe? Uh, as a lot of people hail it as being the worst movie of all time, which taking out like the low budget things made by small teams sure like it may be one of the worst studio movies ever made um like i don't mean worse like bad i mean like disturbing um so is this how much of a serbian film does he no way the entirety of a serbian film the entire two hours of a serbian film Oh my gosh, okay. 
thank you. All right. And then the answer is directed by Thomas M.D. Cinemagore. No, it was not. I'm, I'm deaf. Okay, thanks for that. Pre- really appreciate it. Turn that down to zero. Uh, is there anything else after? <laughs> Who are you? Is that what he, I don't know what Cinemagore looks like. Is that him? Remember, I am the most disturbed person on planet Earth. You sure are, buddy. It's still playing the song. Is there anything after this? After the song time? No, it's just silence. And this man's face for, I think, five minutes. Um, Yeah, that was it. So... That was MD Pope 5, everyone. <laughs> so, obviously, not it. Um, was it hilarious, though? Absolutely. Am I mad? Not in the slightest. This was well worth my time. Um, and I'm happy. I didn't have to watch people die. And instead, I got to laugh. Which, isn't that really what YouTube's all about? So, honestly, to whoever sent me this, thank you. So, as you can see... Um, while hilarious, this isn't Thomas Cinemagore. So if the real Thomas Cinemagore is watching this by whatever chance, this dude totally claimed he was you and did so to several other YouTubers. So do with that information what you will. So at this point, me and Mr. Gigi were like, all right, we're going to make a video on it. This is too good not to. So don't just take my word for it. Hear it from the man who started this whole shebang. I got an email, read this spell check rebellion of a paragraph, and was skeptical. You tell me that Thomas Cinemagore is giving me a VIP pass to the most disturbing video on the planet? Sounds kind of dumb. But silly me, his email seemed to check out, and he had a Google Drive link. Those aren't easy to come by, you know? So I quickly thought, if I got this email, there's no way in hell Wendy Goon didn't also receive this email. So I DM him, same email. It's like a virtual saw trap at this point. But Wendy Goon's also hesitant. It also has steel nuts because he just jumped straight into the video. Probably got all comfy, whipped up his favorite red and blocker batch, put on a robe. No fear with this man. And then he immediately reports back that he uh, skipped to a random point in the video and it was Nikocado Avocado street sweeping a hog. And with that information, I eventually start to prod around a bit and I can confirm Nikocado Avocado was a thousand percent uh, issuing a mukbang blowing 9,000. And the rest of it is just a YouTube poop e-bombs world spooky rice hybrid of the most random shit possible it's like bad porn just straight up rip disturbing films it's a super sick epic fortnite chungus troll that someone spent dozens of hours making with that thank you wendy goon and the wendy gooners you should start calling them that <laughs> for allowing me some of your time that was mr gg thank you for being on this video you can check him out on youtube he's got like 10 subs or something i don't know you probably haven't heard of him so i decided to reply to this guy because I don't know when to stop. In which I said, I'm pretty confident you're a fake, as nothing here is even close to how disturbing MD Pope is. Poser. To which I didn't expect to get like haymakered in the reply, to which he said, None of the films in tier 8 have cheese pizza in them, you effing arsler. To which I realized at this point that this original email was a mass email sent out and now that he's talking to me specifically he's upset and he has every right to be because what he's referring to is the biggest mistake that i have made as a content creator so in the disturbing movie iceberg which is still the most well performing video on my channel and thank you all for that but near the end i didn't choose my words carefully enough when describing researching stuff for tier 8 I said, be careful as you go down there, a lot of stuff you'll find contains cheese pizza. And with certain snuff films such as R73, which was on that iceberg, people were saying that the reason it's such a scary film that no one's to watch is because it contains cheese pizza. Even though stuff like R73 seems to be more of a boogeyman than anything actually, but that's a whole nother topic to get into. And not everyone, but a large enough majority of people took that to mean anything on tier eight contains cheese pizza so it ended up happening and this is what i'm regretful for is people on youtube who are great people i've spoken to since then such as cold raven's nest and brutality will rule 666 were having their comment sections attacked by people who heard me say those things about these movies and then assumed that these content creators on youtube had footage that they shouldn't have i corrected myself in the video i did immediately afterwards 
in the conspiracy theory iceberg, but obviously not as many people saw it as saw the disturbing movie iceberg. Which by the way, if someone's on YouTube and they're openly talking about owning something and they're also reviewing all the content of it on YouTube, it's safe to say it doesn't include that kind of stuff. And a lot of people who just like messed up movies were being accused of the most abhorrent of crimes. And for that, I am once again sorry. So anyway, yeah, this not Thomas Cinema Gore was totally right in being mad at me for it. So now the question is, who on earth is responsible for this? I'm not mad, I'm not mad by any means. I don't think Mr. Gigi's mad. I mean, it got us to collaborate, so thanks Mr. Not Thomas, but I still wanna know who did it. So while I was talking all this over, I received a message from someone who wishes to remain anonymous, who said that the original creator of this video and email is either Plagued Moth, a YouTuber known for disturbing content, or someone in Plagued Moth's Discord server. I've seen some of Plagued Moth's material before and he covers content exactly like MD Pope. So a lot of the pieces of this puzzle were starting to come together. So I figured with you all here, we're gonna hold an interrogation. Are you, you ready to go? Yep. All right. <clears throat> Plagued Moth, did you make the okay. fake MD Pope 5? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dry. <laughs> nah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Well, so the reason I ask is because an anonymous source told me that you were the one who had information regarding it, or at least you were a lead in this case. So do you know anything about the fake MD Pope 5? I did a little investigating of my own. Uh, and yes, it did actually come from my Discord. Ooh, the plot no thickens. Okay. It. All right. I so. didn't personally have a plot in it because it happened. Somebody in my Discord uh, apparently made it with a friend and then sent it off to every, well, rather larger channel in the niche, if you will, that covers mm. disturbing content or horror content and claimed to be none other than Thomas Cinemagore mm. with MD Pope 5, which has there even been a four, by the way? I don't uh, think no. a four. <laughs> so that was an interesting point in the email. They said they made a four and were not happy with it. So that this, which <laughs> points for creativity, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, either way, this is a creative piece of work. Um, that, that it sure is, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> it sure is something. Um, <laughs> it's something. <laughs> so all right so we we have narrowed down the perpetrator that it was someone within your discord so asking you what do you believe that the motive would be for this crime if any honestly attention <laughs> but yeah i was hoping for murder but that works too okay I don't know, maybe to get us all in a room. Let's watch it all together. And then tell us, I don't know, man. I would hope my, uh, I don't produce assassins. I've been told I run a cult, though, so. Yeah, well, okay. you've got the hair for it. <laughs> and I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I received this email. Mr. Gigi received this email. Uh, you did not, correct? Which I believe makes no, sense. I got the email, too. Oh, you got the email, too? I didn't even know that. Okay. All right. Well, I was just, I get some interesting emails in general, uh, <laughs> some real off ones. So like, I'm really careful about vetting my business email. So it's like when it was a link, I was just really like, I waited until other people contacted me about it before I even messed with the link. Mm. And this is before I found out anything because I mean, I'm not getting fished. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was in the same boat. Uh, yeah. I didn't even know it was there until Mr. Gigi. So I feel you. I just feel, I mean, it was, uh, well, I mean, I don't want to necessarily say well thought out, but I mean, it was just well put together, but it's like, yeah, it's none other than me. <laughs> I will, I will give this guy credit for something. He has got the, uh, the showmanship down to a T. I was just trying to track down where the source for all this was and who Thomas Cinemagore's perpetrator is, which word to the wise for people on the internet, 
If there's one group of people you don't want to commit identity theft against, it's people who enjoy murder movies. <laughs> and uh, I've seen your name around on these like extreme film sites because they hate both of us a lot. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. So I know firsthand experience, these are not the people you want to be upset at you. Uh, so who oh, else, uh, regarding this email, who else do you know received it? That is uh, Cold Raven. Cold Raven's Nest got it. That's the only other person I, I know, and then you and Mr. GG, but if they're... I don't even know how to put it. That's four different people, right? Yeah, right. including myself. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, that means more people got it. I'm sure Nick Crowley got it. I'm sure Nexpo got it. Mm. I'm sure Shrouded Hand got it. I mean, but it's a matter of who's talking about it and who even sees it, because it looks straight up like a troll email, but at the same time, there's i'm sorry my birds are going oh no you're fine but at the same time it's kind of one of those things where it's set up well enough to where you're like well maybe <laughs> but, uh, so I mean, when you click it <laughs> speaking yeah. of um if you or someone you know has been attacked by this fake thomas cinema gore through email please let us know in the comments below <laughs> absolutely <clears throat> in case i don't i don't know how many like uh Poor YouTubers watch my stuff, uh, but if any of them who do watch uh, this and also receive the email, I would like to uh, we we can help. <laughs> we <laughs> we'll offer a service with we'll your we'll, we'll, for we'll for only dating. for pennies a day. We can help these poor people. <laughs> for pennies a day, we'll make another snuff R seventy. <laughs> For, for pennies a day, we will make Snuff R73. <laughs> Volume 3. <laughs> we'll make a MD Pope 12 or whatever they're on now. So oh, sweet. <laughs> so, uh, the reason that it kind of made sense, not, I, I never, I didn't expect you to do it. I don't expect YouTubers to, like, you know, impersonate people whatever but the reason it made sense it was connected to you is because i knew about you as a sort of disturbing youtuber and that was the content that you're related to so this is a quick plug for his channel uh plagued moth does fantastic content and breakdowns of the most extreme videos that you can find online and stuff that isn't talked about anywhere else and not only has he found that niche to talk about, but he's doing excellent at it. So for those who are mad because I did the disturbing film iceberg and then didn't talk about extreme content after that, this is the guy's channel to go to. Uh, I highly recommend it. So Plagued, if you had like, in, in a few sentences, how would you describe or give a plug for your channel? I go with my slogan first. I'm the most controversial commentator on YouTube. And I can say that confidently because I touch upon, well, I mean, even starting, I touched upon a lot of content that most people wouldn't. But now, given what I do, it's like I do deep dives to look for some really, really nasty stuff and make videos about it. A lot of things that have been featured in like MD Pope 2, uh, specifically, at least from what I've seen out of that one. But looking for more. So for those of you who want that kind of messed up stuff, who I get it, not here to judge, but judging a little bit and want more of that, <laughs> this is the guy for you. So his link will be in the description below. Uh, thank you so much, Plague Moth, for answering this call and helping us semi solve this mystery. No problem. Thank you for having me on the channel and actually giving me a good shout out. I really course. appreciate it. <laughs> of course, no problem. So uh, thank you. And that is that. Say bye to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it seems that whoever did this whole thing was either just looking for attention in some regard or they thought it was funny or a little bit of both which to be fair yeah it, it was i know that may be a little anticlimactic and we were hoping for some or at least i was like conspiracy or super secret thing behind it but no it was just some dude but i had a good time watching it I had a good time talking to those creators, and this was certainly an experience for sure. So to you, Mr. Not Thomas Cinemagore, thank you for your service. So that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Now I want to talk about this guy. So this is a plush I've partnered with Makeship to bring this merchandise to you all. Uh, this is their embodiment of what I am. As you can see, uh, the feet are to scale. My foot is in fact uh, as large as my giant eye. 
Uh, he's got the little Hawaiian shirt on, which, as you can see, once again, to scale. Uh, and then the antlers and the night vision goggles from my logo, which down there, I, th I think it'd be down there. Yeah, down there, if you're not familiar. And look, they even got like the weird wisp on the back of my hair, right? Like that is insane, the amount of detail that went into this thing. Uh, and it's like durable. I have like drove this around with me and used it to terrorize my friends lately. And it holds up really well and I'm impressed with it. So the way that it's gonna work with this guy is for two weeks, or sorry, 20 days, I believe it's three weeks total, but it went up yesterday. Yeah, so like 20 days from the time this video goes up, this dude is going to be available to purchase at the link in the description below. Now, for those 20 days, the orders are gonna build up, and then whenever those 20 days are up, he's gone. You can't buy him after that. It's a limited time run. This guy's only gonna be around for a little while, and after those 20 days are up, they will all be produced and then sent out to the buyers. So he is a very limited time offer, although he is very cute and I enjoy him. And he's probably, actually I can go ahead and guarantee and say he is going to become a permanent fixture in my videos. Let's set him. Travis Scott has had his time in the spotlight. I think that's fitting. What do you guys think? Um, so yeah, if you want to get in on him for the limited amount of time that he will be available, once again, link in description below. It supports me, uh, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you all so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you guys already do more than you ever have to just watching, much less the subscribing, much less the Patreon, everything else, much less people who get in on that. It, it really is humbling that I can come here and just do stuff that I want to do. Um, and that there's people who support me not only with their time but with their money and I, I again I can't thank you all enough so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting the channel in so many ways thank you so much to my um, subscribers uh, we're up to 295 right now and or something like that about to hit 300,000 and I, I can't fathom it like I said in my early videos I never thought I'd get to 10k so this is just every day I just keep on getting blessed and it's thanks to you all so thank you so much to my subs, thank you so much to my patrons and my top tier patrons that you can see here. I can't, like, again, that consistent support, it allows me to continue to do this, it allows me to do it more and justify it with my time, and I can't express how thankful I am that you all have given me that opportunity. Um, so thank you for that, thank you for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, there will be a iceberg as well as the next part of the conspiracy iceberg come out next week I believe along with an ARG horror series so look forward to that uh, I won't be making one probably it'll just be a review of one but thank you all so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed I hope that this was worth your time and I will see you in the next one